Hello, Dirk. How are you? I'm good. Hey. So you're preaching for the first Sunday in the new year. Oh, what a delight. What a privilege. Yes. Did you allow me to start oh, the yes. year? <laughs> but you know, um, when, uh, when you guys started to call me, yeah. to me, this is a really important day. Because uh, you invited me up for the first Sunday yes. in the new year. That two, was two years ago now. Two years ago now. Yeah. So you've been up here for 18 months. How about that? Oh man, time flies. Wow. I just can't, I just can't, I, I, my mind boggles when I'm sort of thinking that, you know, you sort of said, uh, oh, look, you know, come up. And uh, so I had that sermon then and uh, you sort of said, oh, look, you know, just going to invite a few people to come around. And I think this room was full of people and we yeah, kind we, of spoke I think we were about more than 20, whatever. Yeah. Well, the thing is that, you know, here we were, we weren't even thinking. I mean, I've got to be honest, I wasn't thinking about saying, Okay, yeah, let's go because uh, we were testing it out, weren't we? Well, you were too. I thought, I thought actually more than that. I thought it's probably nothing. Yeah, it's just like yeah, we go through the motions because you know it mm. looked like God set something up, but I didn't believe in it. I didn't think that was going to happen. And then there was confirmation after confirmation, sign after sign, yeah, yeah. open door after open door. Yeah. It became so obvious yeah. what God. And now you're here. And now, and, you're, and now you're preaching again. Again, two years. So, two years later. So what have you got? Well, um, while you were on holidays, uh, I had a little bit of a series on, on my memories about what happened in, in Germany. Yeah, Christmas. You know, Christmas Eve yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all of those little you know, kind of things that from a childhood sort of. But one of the things that I haven't seen here, but uh, is something I reckon that would be great, just, uh, it's not part of the sermon, but it's sort of like in the same field yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to talk about. Yeah. Do you remember in Germany, and it's probably very much more like a Bavarian thing than it was where we were, but we yeah, still yeah, had it. Yeah, yeah. It's called chalking the doors. Yes, yes, yes. So what what that means is that at the at the you know this epiphany, the first Sunday in the new year, the priests or the pastors, well, it's more like a Catholic yeah, yeah. thing. So the priests would go around the village and and um, bless the house, each one on the. The, the top of the doors, they would have the beam, yeah. you know, the wooden beam. So it was the old houses. Yes. And they would write something on there. And, and it and was the year, so 20. Yeah. Then there was a, a, a cross, you know, the yeah, first yeah. one. And then C, M, and then B, and then Epiphany was, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, whatever it is. Oh, called. yeah, yeah. The, then the year. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. All right. So the... And I was wondering what that was about. Yes. Because it was all about the three kings that came yes. and blessed and, and, Mary. And, 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 the, and, the, and the letters house. are their initials. Yeah. C is for Casper. Yeah. And then M is for Melchior. Yeah, no problem. And uh, Belshazzar. Belshazzar. Yeah. Like. So they were the three wise, or three kings, three wise men. Yeah, isn't it interesting? In the Bible, like our translation say three wise men. But in, in that tradition and some traditions and old traditions, there are three kings themselves. Yeah. And so, yeah, where we come from, it's yeah. the three kings. And uh, what happens, though, is that tradition and all sorts of things merge into yeah, each other. Yeah. Because in the Latin, what the priest would say over the door yeah. is not the three wise men names. Because the three wise men are just a way of remembering CMB. And it would be in Latin, Christos mansions uh, benedictus which means christ bless this house ah the things you know dirk yeah. I, did, I didn't know that so that's what what the like, cmb means ah. christus as in christ uh mansions as you know the mansion the house yeah uh, benedictus bless okay christ, house bless and um so you know i think that would be a fantastic thing for us to start thinking about um that what God has given to us in the new year, yes, that we bless it. Yes, actually, that's that's a great thought. So that's that, you know, I was wanting to to elaborate on that and go with it. So I'm working on this our whole idea that yes, God is blessing us, but He's actually calling us to also bless the things He's given to us. You know, it starts off with something as simple as you know when we have our meal and we bless our meal. Yes, yeah. How many, and, and I'm not saying now, look, you know, how many um, are going without food. Yes. But just to recognize, look, God is blessing us yes. in ordinary things. Yes. We have our house, we have our food, we have our family, we have this wonderful life that we live. Yes. Don't take it for granted. Yes. 
God has blessed you with yes. it. Bless it. Yes. And I think when we start to bless it, we make it a blessing to others as well. Yes. Because then suddenly, yeah. you know, that blessing multiplies. It's no longer just for us. Yeah. It's something and that I think at the beginning around. of the year, I think you're right. You just want to present everything that you have and everything to God again, your whole life, isn't it? You want the whole year to be dedicated under God and be blessed by Him. Yeah. And I think that's the tradition, you know, yeah. the first Sunday of the yeah. year, like everything again, again, under God. Under God. And, and we, ha we have to do that because we keep forgetting, isn't it? We get busy and do our own things and then beginning of the year, hey, God to you. I think uh, for me personally, when I started to work on that, I thought of how many things actually do I take for granted rather than putting them under uh, God. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it, it, it's, it was starting to, you know, kind of like, wow, I need to have a change of heart and mind yes. and spirit and yeah. soul to actually acknowledge that everything I have, not yeah. only comes from God, and you know, the scripture yeah, yeah, says, yeah, you know, yeah. he's the giver of all good yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah. But as you were saying, I have received it. I now put it under God. Yeah. Or, you know, in, in, in the, even in heaven above, we are given robes of righteousness and crowns. But what do yeah. we do with them? We take them off and yeah, we yeah, lay yeah, them yeah, at yeah. the foot of, yeah. of, the, of the, the throne room. And so um, I think that's an important thing that whatever God gives to us, He, you know, it's like the ten lepers. You know, He's, yeah, yeah. he's healed them all. Yes. Only one comes back yeah. and says, thank you. And, yeah, gratefulness. Gratefulness. Yeah. Gratefulness. Hey, I think that's a brilliant teaser for Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah, encourage everyone maybe to do the same. On Sunday, you're going to teach us exactly what to write on the door frame. Yeah. Yeah. So, have a picture or something yeah. that we yeah. can copy. And, yeah, have a wonderful day, everyone. Uh, bye, bye, everyone. everyone. Be blessed. <laughs> Be blessed. <laughs>